to get outside. Last Wednesday, I was out on the lakeshore at a, on a birding tour. If you want to talk about crazy people, <laughs> <laughs> tell me more. The birders. They're crazy. We love them. Um, but what yeah, it was like, like, what is it? What it they it? just check out there. I mean, because it's Lake Michigan is like super windy. There's no way we could do the show on the water right, right now because we just get blown away. And so, yeah, everybody trekked out in their boots and snow pants and winter coats. And yeah, we were outside from, I left at two. Okay. This was from 10 to two. And they like kept going. <laughs> It was nuts. There were 60 people there. I know. I know. (laughs) Let me me ask you this question. Did any of them bring their own recording equipment? So, um, (laughs) I I have a personal, I have a personal story about this. Go ahead. (laughs) We did actually have a camera crew that came out. Okay. Um, but that was, you know, unrelated, but was related, but it wasn't like one of the birders came out with, I was one time up North somewhere Mm -hmm. and I saw birders there. They had vest on special hats and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what are they doing? I noticed it was a husband and wife team. They were both college professors, like from Ohio somewhere. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? Because they had recording devices like microphones and oh. this thing. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? We record the bird sounds. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, well that's because important. you can <laughs> identify so many more. Um, that's what they say. A lot of times when you go out birding, you identify them based on the sound you hear and you don't ever actually even you don't see, see them. them right. Mm-hmm. Does, isn't that cheating if you don't see them? I, I mean, don't. I don't know. I feel like you could you can mark it down as listen to or saw <laughs> or both but not you can't you can't yeah, it's cheating okay. I don't think I can have this argument for you the know birding, we're gonna have a murder on we are. future no, we need segment to have, yeah. of behind yeah. them and to find out what the you protocol should. is for I think so mm-hmm. but they can experience all of this in Ottawa County Absolutely. as well as plenty of other things right mm-hmm. Jessica yes yes <laughs> what, are some the, what are some of the other things other things you offer other programming sure well we have been doing um, night hikes this season which has been super fun to go see see a park in a totally different way um and you know no one's like tripped and fallen or you know rolled down a hill or anything it's very safe <laughs> so i'm just i'm putting this very out there as people are like oh i'm like hey, nobody looks as excited as i was hoping but we try to <laughs> we, <laughs> we try to light them up with the full moons we call them our full moon night hikes and if it's snowy enough we do them on snowshoe Now, full moon hike. I mean, do the birders come out and do you have double crazy then? (laughs) Okay, so we actually just That would would be night winners. A a snowy owl um, hike. And yeah, it was so it was like birding evening. It was amazing. I think they saw like five owls. I don't, I've, wow. I've actually confession never when seen a, an when owl a bird in the wild. When a sees a, a bird uh, that they haven't seen before, what what is the excitement level like? What how do they manifest that? Okay, <laughs> so I, I I was we're on the Lake Michigan shoreline, okay, and everybody's quiet and they've got their binoculars or their scopes, and then there everyone was looking for this really uh, particular gull, which is I'm not even going to say what it was because I, I'll get the name wrong, and there is. Yeah, you well, know what, you they've know already what, yeah. made fun of me enough in the office for calling it the Katie did gull. Anyway, anyway. They, were, they made fun of me. Whatever. So they're they're looking through, and then all of a sudden, people just start shouting, "Gray roof, gray roof, yellow house, yellow house, red house," and I was like. Whoa! What's happening? <laughs> and what they're doing is they're follow. Somebody got sight of the bird they were looking for, and they're following it as it's flying. And they're so across from the channel, there are homes, and they were pointing out to the other birders where this bird was they're going, calling where the bird is going. Yes, mm-hmm. but it was like very loud and a high level of excitement. <laughs> And I was <laughs> this previously quiet crowd were lit up. Pretty Drop rowdy. the mic. We found the goal. <laughs> Everyone on the tour saw it. We're Everybody gonna, saw we're it. We're gonna have to have you back because that was so. Jessica, that was, you are welcome on the show <laughs> anytime. Time, yeah. Thank with you. Play by play of how things happen in the <laughs> Ottawa County Park system. Jessica, if people want to plan a visit to Ottawa County Parks and maybe go cross country skiing or hit it up with the birders. Yeah. Where do they go for more information? Uh, you would want to start at our website, which is M I Ottawa. Org slash parks. Awesome. Jessica, we cannot thank you enough. That was absolutely fascinating. All right, coming up next, we're going to learn more about a cool place called Mulligan's Hollow here. And then later on, Beer, Beer of, of the, the week. week. So stay tuned to Behind the Mitten. This is Jessica Vanyanhoven from Ottawa County Parks. And we want you to get outside, whether you are hiking, biking, skiing, or birding. And you are listening to Behind the Mitten.
And welcome back to Behind the Mitten, John Gonzalez, along with Amy Sherman. Uh, I don't even know where to go, Amy, because we got just we just got done doing some bird talk. Yeah, I think I'm going to become a birder. <laughs> Jessica's going to lead us. We're going to go to coffee and uh, go to coffee with the birders yes. at the Ottawa County Parks Association. If you want to get more information about what you can do in Ottawa County, go to miottawa.org slash parks totally cool thing she's got going on and yeah it sounds like a kind of crazy scene out here in the winter time <laughs> well, maybe people get stir crazy in grand haven in the winter maybe time. like i said i spent some time meeting some birders a little a few years ago and i call, can't call. <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait to uh to do that again so we have a couple of uh, uh, new guests here arriving on the show we do and so welcome to behind the men we've got benji stone who is the hill manager at mulligan's hollow correct and we're going to talk about what that means let's talk just, about it just a minute and we've got <laughs> We're going to talk about it. He's frozen on that mic. I love it. He's good. And we got Gra- Grace Glessner with us, who's the director of social marketing for Mulligan's How. Hello. I am. And I hear that you've been doing some amazing things, too. So welcome to Behind the Mitten, you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. So first, Benji, what is Mulligan's Hollow? Mulligan's Hollow is Grand Haven's local ski area that not many people know about, sadly. It is a, uh, we have five tow ropes. It's all tow ropes. Um, all tow ropes. All tow ropes. That is unique to the state of Michigan, I would think. It's very unique, and also the way that we're a nonprofit. The only reason that Mulligan's Hollow exists is because of our community. Um, two years ago, we raised over $600,000 that our community raised so that we could have a new snowcat, have a new barn to put that in. Um, and the amount of of support that we get from this community is unbelievable but we have uh we've really focused hard on kids um we have an amazing group of instructors probably one of the best in the state um but we also have one of the best train parks in the state and that's one of with tow ropes you're able to cover so much feet in so little time because you're not waiting in a uh, lift line you're going down churning grabbing the rope going to the top hitting big jumps hitting all of our custom rails it's an awesome experience. We have a lodge providing uh, pizza, hot dogs, beverages, candy, all really inexpensively priced. A kid can walk in with $5 and eat for the entire day. So Why am I, I not shipping my kids out there every you weekend? You should. What did, the heck? Did you notice that when Benji was talking about big jumps and big air, he was looking right at me? <laughs> he was I mean, looking He right knows the way I rule the slopes. I mean, he just knows it. The, the send it motto. <laughs> John has been up a tow rope one time. Twice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It would have been a third time, so but I was wiped times. out by that four-year-old girl. You were wiped out by that four-year-old girl. <laughs> it was a tragedy, but you recovered, and you are willing yeah. to try again. But I am willing to try again. It does sound like Mulligan's Hollow is a, a, an incredible place to learn how to ski. It's a, it's the perfect place. Our Bunny Hill is a very... <laughs> again, he's looking at me. <laughs> graduate. Very graduate slope. Um, We hold group lessons for six weeks that people can sign up for. Um, And every weekend we have private lessons available at any time. You just call Abby Leatherman, our director of lessons and leagues. Um, And you'd be shocked at the hundreds. We've already done over 250 private lessons this season of kids that have learned how to ski and snowboard. And it's, it's amazing to go out there and see these little kids just smiling when they get it. And it's, it's hilarious. And the biggest perk is parents ski free. What, what did you say? Hundred percent. No one know. Like if you, if you've got your kids, you come and you ski with your kids for free. No parents pay when how, they come to Mulligan's Hollow. How old Hollow. does that go up to? <laughs> so you can, if you want to bring your mom and dad, they get to ski for free. You get to ski for free, and then your kids you just, you just buy the lift passes for the kids. Okay, big T. <laughs> big T. Yeah. Big T is strapping some skis on. He's gonna come out and join me. <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Though. That's a great yeah. uh, offer. That is really fantastic. Well, I've always heard really great things about Mulligan's Hollow, that, that it's like right here in town, that it's super easy, low-key. Very, you know, very low-key. Which I love, because some of the ski hills, as great as they are with, with uh, incredible skiing here in Michigan, they can be a little high-end, and they can be really expensive. Yeah, this is not the same. You're paying Thursday and Friday night $15 for an all-hill lift ticket, um, Saturdays and Sunday $20 for an all-hill lift. And then when you put the math, when you put the math together, so if you have two kids that know how to ride... You're at forty dollars for the all hill, but then you guys ski for free. Where that's not going to happen anywhere else in the state. That's um, it's already half the price of a regular lift ticket at a lot of other places, and that's amazing. And, and you and can you, see, I can have hot dogs and chili at the hundred percent. Amen. Candy. You can have as many hot dogs as you want, <laughs> and you can see uh, from our highest hill. You can see Lake Michigan. It's one of the most beautiful sites in the state. It's the greatest I think. of the Great Lakes. Oh my gosh! So, so Amy, I, we need to start following these guys on social media because I really I've seen a little bit on Facebook, but I really haven't seen much about what they do. So well, we've heard that great 
Chase is kind of the master of social media for Mulligan's Hollow. So what are, what's your approach for social media here? Why are you the queen? Oh my. <laughs> well, this year oh we've really <laughs> taken off on Instagram. Um, we post daily just to keep people in the loop of what's going on. Um, and we've got a lot larger following. We're also on Facebook at Mulligan's Hollow. Um, and this just allows us to reach a greater audience than just having one platform. And we also have all of our information online at mulligansholo.com. So Grace, what's your background? You're from Grand Haven? Um, yeah, I moved to Grand Haven six years ago. Um, went How'd to you get involved here? with Mulligans Hollow? How, how did you become the director of social marketing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Her, her title gets bigger every moment. I love it. That, that happened because I know nothing about Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> What is this Facebook? We all yeah. need an expert, right? <laughs> yeah. They're, uh, the Facebook had really been taken off the last few years, but I jumped on board this year and took what I knew from being in the youth onto, so, or <laughs> onto <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> and she had no idea. The Instagram and the Twitter. The Twitter, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but working together, we've been able to get a lot more like across the board and keep people informed. So what is it that you like about Mulligan's Hollow? What's the message that you love to share with people about Mulligan's Hollow? It's just like a really great atmosphere to hang out with. I've been going there since I moved here in sixth grade. So you have like all your friends there. The parents are all super supportive. It's just like a family. for free. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so yeah, it's awesome. Good place to hang out. Everyone's like family there. You get to know everyone really fast. What do you guys do during the summertime? Uh, I cut down trees. <laughs> <laughs> we Most people go to the beach. Most people NGOs go to the beach. To cut down trees. <laughs> we uh, the Mulligan's Hollow closes in the in the summer, so there's nothing going on there, sadly. Um, but as soon as fall hits, we start making snow and getting stuff set up, and that's what it is. We we we're just trying to provide something for the kids of this community. Too many kids these days are sitting in their houses playing video games, and it's it's shocking how many people walk through our doors that live in this town that didn't know that it was there. And didn't know what we had in here, which is crazy to me. It's really crazy because it's get outside, meet new friends, <laughs> learn a sport that you didn't, maybe didn't think that you could do, you know? And right here in Grand Haven, if you can even drop your kids off and then come here to Oddside and grab a beer. <laughs> you know? Don't, like, don't you tempt me, Ben. It happens, though. It happens. Like, that's how safe Mulligan's Hollow is because we don't serve alcohol there. There's, you're not having that issue with craziness going on. It's a super safe area. To drop, so many parents will drop their middle school age kids off, bail, go get shopping done, get their get and know that their kids are safe. Right, and that's what's really unique about this town and what we're able to provide this town. I love that. Well, you mentioned Benji that one of your titles at Mulligan's Hollow is middle school principal. Yeah, certain days of the week. I'm going to put that on my business card for next season. <laughs> They're tough it's, to control those little yeah. guys. Woo! <laughs> The stories Especially when they're on skis, right? Yeah. The stories I have. <laughs> Put down that ski, right? That's yeah. another right. show. That's another show. All right, Benji. We're going to have to come back, Amy. We are going to have to come back. Because there, there yeah. sounds like there's some very good things going on. I love the fact that it's a safe place and a good thing, a healthy thing for kids to do right here in Grand Haven. If people want to bring their kids out to Mulligan's Hollow, uh, maybe do a lesson or maybe ski for free themselves. Maybe they're the parent. Where do they get more information? Uh, Mulligan'sHollow.com. Yep. And if they want to get online and do the social media yeah. thing. <laughs> We're on Facebook at Mulligan's Hollow and on Instagram at Mulligan's.Hollow. Are you snapping? Yes. It's <laughs> M-H-S-B-G-H. I like how you didn't want to say that because this is like an old person's show. Are you snapping? <laughs> are you snapping? snapping? Yeah, we are I'll snapping. Snap. I'll <laughs> so is that the lingo? Are you snapping? Mulligan's yes. Hollow is snapping. We are snapping. <laughs> you're snapping. <laughs> and you're on the Twitter. That's always yeah. my line. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Great information about Mulligan's Hollow. All right, John, coming up next, we're going to talk more about what you can do in the Grand Haven area for winter. And we're going to do Beer, Beer of, of the, the week. week from Oddside Ale. So stay tuned to Behind the Mitten. I'm Benji Stone. And I'm Grace Glessner from Grand Haven, Michigan. And we're with Mulligan's Hollow, where parents ski free, tickets are cheap, and it's a great atmosphere, and you can see Lake Michigan because we're awesome. Check us out at mulligan'shollow.com for more information. And listen to us on Behind, Behind the, the Mitten. Mitten. I'm 
And welcome back to Behind the Mitten, John Gonzalez, along with Amy Sherman, having a great time, having a really great time here in Grand Haven, Michigan, on the west side of the state. Who knew that Grand Haven was so much fun in the wintertime? <laughs> yeah, we met some great people today. They're just uh, full of energy. They, they're passionate about this area. And how about Benji and Grace? Sarah? Oh, that was that was awesome. I'm telling you what, I'm already planning my uh, weekend to come visit Mulligan's Hollow. Uh, parents ski free. It sounds like a totally mellow, old school kind of place, which is my yeah. type of skiing. I like to go 